All right, here we go. Here's some of my walking stick blanks right now. You can see they're kind of all over the place. Short, tall. These two on the right, I featured recently in a short, picking it up in the mountains. And we got two over here that I just picked up. The next two, so that'd be number three and four from your right. I picked those up, who knows where. Somewhere in the mountains. These are all different heights and will be cut down. We got a couple of maples here. And that one's got kind of a cool top. I'm not sure where I'm gonna cut it off, if I'm gonna leave that top for decoration or, or what. But those two in the very middle there are maple. And so far, all of these sticks I've shown you, I have done nothing to them. This is just what they look like in the wild. Now, these two that are in the middle, the lighter two here, those were found during the king tides on the Oregon coast. Not exactly sure of <laughs> the maker model, <laughs> but I can tell you this one right here, if you look down here, has a really cool feature. It's like it's got a fin on it. This one I've decided will be mine, and I probably will leave it almost full length. And then we come to these two. The one on the right has got the curve on it there, and then the shorter thumbstick one, or what we're looking at now. The one on the right is Madrone, and it is about 90% ready for finish. Got a little sanding on the top and a little sanding on the bottom. Just like that. Now the one to the left of it, the darker, that is black walnut. It is ready for finish. That is a thumb stick there. Then we get back over to these two. They're both ready for finish. And I believe the one on the right of the two came from the beach. The one on the left came from the mountains somewhere. Could have been up in Washington. And this one here on the right of the two, big old knob sticking out. That may stay. We'll see what I do with it later. They look pretty cool, I know that. And then this last one on the left here, this one has a lot of wor worm damage, which I like to call dec decoration. And it is finished. And then I'm gonna get a little closer here so you can see some of the worm damage there. And this whole stick is full of it. This one here, I will probably try to sell this one. Most of my sticks, if I leave them pretty plain, I will give them away. I'm not doing this to make money. I am doing this for something to do in my retirement when we're camping. And I got two on a table here very closest one to me that is also madrone now that is unfinished until you just see it coming into the frame then up here I've debarked it and I kind of wanted to show you the different stages now I don't put a lot of money into my the tools of the trade here that's all done with the box knife. 
That's what I do all of my carving with is a box knife, just debarking and trimming like the branches here. I will use a handsaw and cut those down, but then I will shape it with just a box knife. Now this one here, and I wanna say it's maple, and I don't remember where I got it, I believe in Washington. It is ready for finish. And as you can see, what I've done here is I just, I like to leave the natural look of the wood. This is sanded. A couple of those I got from the beach will not be sanded. They will be left just the way I found them other than the bark. This one has a pretty cool hole in it here, which at one time was a branch. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but that's the way it's gonna look. And then you get over here, another good, feature right there and you get down here and it's just like these are these will all be left just like this I may attach a strap to it and I may put a foot on some of them but for now this is what they look like these are my tools of the trade so like I said earlier most of my work is done with that knife right there. I have just almost an unlimited s supply of blades. I pick them up at garage sales whenever I can. Yeah, a little, looks like a dental pick or something and that's how I clean out the knot holes. And actually, some of the worm holes too. Do a lot of cleaning with that. And I still got my red-handled shears here. They uh, will cut the branches off. The little nubs that are still on there after I get it out of the woods. And if they're too big, then I will go to the handsaw. You can see none of these are real expensive tools here. Then I have my sandpaper here. I start with 100. Just lost some here, a little windy. Then I go to 120. And normally I have 220, but it looks like I'm out. And then I've got this little piece here that kind of looks like a pistol. I'm gonna finish it up too, just for fun. All right, I'll get some video on the next one of me actually working on these sticks and then you can kind of see how I do it now this is just my way it's not a professional way or anything so if you're interested in any of that just follow the series take care